Okay. Here's the whiskey. Welcome. For hot vault. Welcome Hello. to the way. You just try to do the outro toast. <laughs> and then play it off. Hands on hips and everything. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the most. Yeah, you do that and then people, it's right? totally invisible if you messed up. Yeah. Sweatshing, <laughs> hunting uh, it. Harry is, Falkenberg, who's weird. also a Titan. Get, no, I'm going to tell you all about it. Harry Falkenberg, who's also a Titan, gave us this whiskey. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? I do hear it. Could it be? It's possibly Harry Falkenberg. Okay, so Glenn Livett released this thing they call Spectra. So really? Yeah. Let me quick though. I, I like, you know, packaging that's well done. Yeah. This you can't tell. There's three different <laughs> triangles with bottles in there. And it's like, oh, the little, little flaps. Magnetically. Magnetic. Right? You got yeah. this little tab here yeah. and then it just snaps. Watch. Oh, it just it pulled out. It pulled out of my hands. Watch. Satisfying. I'm just gonna go slowly and then it's like, ah! it's like popping bubble wrap. It grabs it. Yeah. Alright, so this is uh, their attempt, right? at giving you three variations of Glenlivet. Oh, right? okay. So when, what they're not saying is, this isn't like, oh, this is like Glenlivet so finish, and this finish, and this finish. What they're saying is like, we have our classic Glenlivet, guys. We start with that. Sure. Here's three different directions that we can take Glenlivet. Well, directions how? What's being manipulated? Well, wait for it, okay. right? Now, if we scan this, yeah. we have a challenge that if we want to partake, this could become a longer video. There's a QR code. Yes, there's a QR code. Now, the question is we can take the QR code and pick it, and we can see if we find the same tasting notes that the master did when he was creating these whiskeys. I Do you want to compare your palate to the guy who made it? That's fine. I seriously doubt it, though, because like it's like nine out of ten times, mm -hmm. whenever we look on the back of a bottle and we look at the notes that they're describing, mm -hmm. and not just just any whiskey, nine out of ten times, it's like, oh, I'm not getting those notes at all. And quite frankly, these notes, I am suspicious about them being chosen for the label mm -hmm. because they're just very popular notes. They're notes that they sound interesting. It's great. possible. Yeah, so we'll see. But this this is different. This is nerd exploration. I don't know. That so is, we I don't know that. anything about these right now. Okay. Other than that, they are numbered one, two, sure, and three. So it was designed to be like a tasting challenge exploration thing. <coughs> yes. I like that. No, I don't know how you want to keep your three in order, but keep them in order. Okay. I'm gonna do mine front to back. I'm I'm doing mine front to back. Okay. So one is closest to the camera. Yes. Open that one while you're freaking out. Uh, ah, poke me in the fingernail. Wait. And three. You ready? Okay. Okay. Now let's try our tasting notes first. Do you want to? Would you like a pen? Oh, really? Is it that level? No, of... only if you want to. I'm gonna write it down. Like a steel trap. I got okay, this. that's fine. Ooh. And I want to take the Glen Livet uh, classic. Honestly, I, the nose on the number one here, it's already more interesting than what I remember the classic Glen Livet being, which has always been kind of uh, fairly simple, but nice. Okay, I'm gonna pour a one. This is very, very inoffensive, but a little bit thin, very. This is our reference. Accessible and comfortable. Oh yeah, I mean, already. One. More intense and Ooh. vibrant and, is the, there's gotta be a proof difference though. I'm going 
These are, oh, these are 40, how are these 40%? Orange. This is giving up so much more, so, so much more flavor notes on the nose than a 40% should be giving you. On the, I'm still in the first one, you're going so quick though. No, no, I always do a first pass and then I go back. This is my habit. Oh, number two is closest to the classic Glenlivet. Yeah, it's lighter. Perfumey fruit. It really is the closest by far. Yeah, vanilla. That's a slight difference. The most dramatic difference right now is one. And then it goes, the dramatic differences in drama Coconut, go one, then three, then two. Coconut cream and fruit and chocolate. Okay. Going back, I'm going to take a sip. Oh, I like one the best. Oh, it's slightly phenolic. Earth, wood. Okay, two. Two is the most classic Glenlivet. It might actually just be plain old Glenlivet. Yeah, I think two is regular Glenlivet. It smells like it. Yeah. Yeah, tastes identical. Well, not identical, but it... it like 90, I mean, my bottle's been open for a while. 90 to 95 But I think the, the difference of what I'm tasting is the bottle being open. Ooh, I like that. That added this sort of like a, almost a bitter chocolate note. That's not quite phenolic. Okay, I'm gonna scan the QR code. Are you ready? Sure. We're gonna see what other people say. This As in the guy who made it. The master distiller notes. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's the blender, but I didn't, I didn't actually look it up. Oh, put your headphones on and make yourself comfortable. Yeah, just hold it up to your mic. It's a selection of three new mysterious single malts. Each a reinterpretation mm -hmm. of number two is new? fruity house style. I don't know. Immerse yourself in these mysteries to discover the hidden spectrum of flavors in each expression. Now, select your first malt of choice. Ooh, which one do we want to Sit do first? Back and enter the world of the Glenlivet Spectra. I feel like he's kind of coming on to me. Yeah, it's a little... You're, he's either... He's definitely got a reach around. He's going for the reach around right now. Either trying to teach me yoga, mm -hmm. or he's looking for some action. It's both. <laughs> or it could be like the uh, sleep tapes. The Jeff Bridges sleep tapes. All right. I was just wandering you the wanna, woods. Yeah, do you want to... Scrambling yeah. so good. Oh, I see a guy. It's probably John. His name's hey, John. Guy. Hey, John. Yeah. He, he waved to me. He waved to me. Good yeah. guy. Good guy, John. I wonder yeah. what his name is. I love the sleep tapes. Okay. All right. Do we want to start with two? Let's start with two. Because honestly, already he said these are new. This whiskey will remind you of crisp sea air, pleasantly blending with the smell of a bonfire. Bonfire? Yeah, I know bonfire. And immerse yourself in the soup. Oh. Take a deep breath. Why are you pushing it? I, I didn't do anything. All right, let's go next. Okay. What a delight bottle two is. But what three notes are What three notes notes are top for you? I'm going to say vanilla, floral, and spice, but not peat. Do you think spice or smoke? It is a little dry, ashy. It, it is. I wanna so I'm going to say smoky. Ah. Do you agree with those three? Or do you want to do different? I'm finding some peatiness. Yeah, but peat or smoke. I don't know. So is it earthy or is it ashy? I don't know. I'm over it. I'm gonna go ashy. How big was the floral? I think I, I think I know why I need headphones now. Mm-hmm. Floral's pretty high. Oh. Vanilla's higher, and smoke is mild. See, I just jumped to number three. Yeah, I know. I really want that one too. This is your oh no! I, I just randomly like slid the things around, and we got thirty-three yeah. percent accuracy. Honestly, the fact oh. that, the fact that he's saying this is new. Yeah. Go back to back with the original. Which no, it's the same. It's it's incredibly close. It's a little more peppery on so the original. So what are they doing though? What are they doing? Because for uh, we're finding a negligible impact. Yeah. But they have to be doing something. If he said it's a new thing. I think it's just different barrels. <gasps> oh, okay. Wait, wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That, wait, I'm wait, gonna say bottle, wait. vanilla, toffee, and you're just randomly <laughs> spice. I'm just literally picking random numbers. I just I'm having a hard time caring. <laughs> oh, I got forty percent on that one when I picked literally random numbers. Like I'm already I'm already bored. Like I just. Yeah, but they told us we need headphones. What because of the sound? Because you get the yeah. Here, let me see if this helps. Here, take a sip. No, sip, sip, sip. No, I just did. The creamy oh. sweetness of bottle three. What top three notes did you identify? Oh, it's totally better. <laughs> so much better. 
There we go. I'm this, gonna do pear. This, I just picked toffee. Oh, you should have done. You should have done vanilla. Tamam, yeah. so you should have done vanilla. vanilla. It's gonna be way off. Next. I got 67 oh, percent. See, that's the technique. You have somebody get up in your face and go. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so it turns out when you randomly select whatever the fuck your finger touches. So two. Go. Ahead, we go ahead and pause it. Two. Uh, our, our earlier premise before mm -hmm. we got into this. It's like man. If you live in Glidden Levitt 24 7, 365. Then this is a big difference. Yeah, but. If you don't. But this, a this one right here. 30% difference. But this one right here. Mm -hmm. It's like we're thinking going into this, maybe this is like uh, you're doing a control. Right. He's just putting the regular Glidden Glen, Glen, Glen Levitt in mm -hmm. there. So this one and this one, we can really see the outliers and compare. That wasn't a control. They did something. In theory. Okay. But it doesn't taste like it. But I mean, the difference is under ten percent. But these two—that's pretty different. Actually, but still only different for Glen Yes. Not like a different brand. Yes, I would agree. But also, I'm pleased to see Glen Livet kind of playing outside the lines and experimenting a little bit because it's one of these brands that I've always, I've always—it was one of the first whiskeys I was ever given. Right, that's true for a lot of people. Yeah, I've and I've always liked it, but then it's like, oh, it's pretty simple. If I want to like get into whiskey in a more mm -hmm. deep level, I'm moving past Glen with it pretty quickly. Um, I still enjoy it. It's just not going to wow me. Yeah. These things though, I was like, oh, we can we can throw some interesting stuff at you. Yes. I. I Kudos yeah. to Glen Livet. This whole idea is so fun. And to me, this is a reward. Right. For whiskey drinkers. Well, and think about this: if you're alone, if you're alone in your home mm -hmm. and you're exploring a whiskey, yes. and you can do the headphones. Oh. And you really spend time to dial in the app, and then they explain what's in there. Yeah. I think as a solo exploration experience, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I think they're doing a good job. This is not for your gateway people. No. This is for your whiskey people. It, and for understanding what whiskey people love, yeah. they nailed this. From Whoever's idea it is. From the packaging. Yes. To all the way to the product. There's bottles with the experiments in there. My only really caveat is, is like this one right here. If I look, I've had a few whiskeys. I'm not seeing a difference really between that either. and the classic. I mean, but I love the concept. I think it was very, very well executed. There is a difference, but I could argue the difference is because this is a three fourths empty bottle. And that's how subtle the difference is. Also, we found that level of difference just in, you know, drift, flavor drift from different brands, different bottlings, that the only difference is the years that they were bottled. Yeah. So still, you know, it's it, it, marginal, small. You want to do one comment, just the second one, and we can end it, because this is already a long episode. Dave West, if someone tuned into this channel for the first time today and turned the volume off, they would totally think it was a couple of hipsters reviewing whiskey. Like, that's, that's fine. <laughs> you call the hipster. I feel like I always you're... thought hipster, I uh, is, is people's definition of hipster is wildly different. Oh yeah. But I always thought a hipster is somebody that actually is trying hard. Well, any conscious effort. Yeah. In that direction. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think calling us hipsters is an insult to hipsters. Right. It's not an insult to us. Right, Daniel. It's an insult to hipsters. What are we? What are we rocking here? Literally. Old Navy, baby. <laughs> is that Old Navy? Old hipster? Navy. <laughs> yeah. Is that a hand-me-down, too? <laughs> this is circa, like, 2005. <laughs> I don't know. I was, like, like oh, <laughs> vintage <laughs> Old Navy. Uh, and then everything else is Target. Oh, uh, this, is, this is before Old Navy sold out in 2007. Right. right. They totally sold out. And <laughs> sure, I'll be a hipster. Sure. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You know, it's good work if you can get it. As a 40-year-old <laughs> man... Yeah. Hipster? Hipster, sure. Bam. If, uh, if you steal these healers, and if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. us.